Hello everyone and welcome back to the project. So as I said last time, this is the end of the cleanups. I didn't have the time to do anything about the colors, but I will tackle that once this is finished. So as you can see, I'm doing as last time, just drawing every single frame and at some point not really on tools. So this, I have to say, was a interesting exercise because I now realize it's not that I'm not good at drawing, but I might not be trained enough to draw like several drawings very quickly and to keep them consistent. I would need a bit of time to do like a proper nice and clean drawing and something that looks alike from frame to frame. But as we say, the best way to improve our drawing like that is to do something. And I like to do it within a project because it gives me a goal that makes me not want to quit when this is getting difficult. Because I have to admit, at some point, I was thinking about trying to find a way out of this project. But as it is a project with a, like a clear goal and a clear end, I kind of feel like I have to keep on going because this is far from being finished. This is just one sequence in uh, about something like 11 or so. So, as I said, I've just uh, added all my drawings frame by frame. And then at what point, uh, when the camera is moving a bit out, we can see the character and the table. And so what you can see me doing here is that I added a few planes in the 3D space so that I could use them to snap my 3D cursor onto them and make sure the drawings of the two arms were placed in front of the object like the table and behind the glass okay for this shot and the next one so you will see me hiding this plane and unhiding them and then using them to snap my 3D cursor on it and then you will see me draw one hand and then the other and then the body and the head separately so here I am working my way through all of those drawings and after let's say a couple of hours but something like three to five hours I arrived at the point where I could just go through it all and fix the most obvious mistakes in terms of proportion I uh, I know <laughs> the character here doesn't really look like the same from beginning to the end that's a really huge problem but it will do okay because as I said earlier and some other people say it before me finished but not perfect so it's gonna be finished and there's still gonna be a lot of things to improve on which is great because then that means I can start working after that on some other projects and try to improve my skills in this area okay so this made me realize how complicated it is and I admire even more people like uh, Glenn Keen, for example, who are really masters at this and among other uh, artistic skills. But at some point, I have to say I really enjoyed it because I could kind of feel that I was improving even just a little notch. And uh, of course, when you see the results, as I said, it's not perfect, but I'm still really happy with what I came up with it. And uh, so here it is, just the line art. And of course, it's um, because the camera is zooming out at the end, you can see the drawing just uh, with a little size. And then you can see it here with the 3D background as well. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I know it's kind of short, and I don't know if you like having this kind of big section which are really accelerated okay it's not real time i don't know if you would prefer having a piece of real time uh, work and then 
maybe just jump to another section without showing it or if you like the way I'm doing it right now having most of the parts accelerated because I feel like you won't learn a lot of things if you just see me drawing and not really greatly so but you know you can still uh, ask me to do it differently if you like don't hesitate to ask me that in the comments that being said I'm wishing you a very good week and very good life as usual. I hope you are doing all right and you are also happy with your projects. And I uh, will see you next time for the colors. Bye.